probably, as I told out there, uh, I think some people's probably a lot more disappointed than I am uh, because I think there's some good things that happen. You know, I didn't do a lot to help our, our team tonight until the last 10 minutes when, I mean, we was fixing to get beat. And uh, I didn't run anything the first 30 minutes. I just wanted them to figure things out, so we didn't run anything those first 30 minutes. And then I thought the last 10 minutes, we executed our stuff pretty good, which is which is good, which is good. Uh, defensively, I was obviously very disappointed. Uh, and, and the only thing I was disappointed in was our on-the-ball defense. But then when D'Angelo came in, I thought that was probably about as good as you're going to get. So that part of it, you know, you're sitting there watching that, and you think, wow, this is – this is going to be a, a good guy that can can guard that can guard the dribble, and so that makes everything else better. We didn't take away their three point shot until about the last five minutes, and then they were doing a good job of coming. And I wanted to see how we would close out, and we was closing out slow. Uh, but then we went back to just a simple thing: is you know, if the ball's coming to you, uh, you no longer have the the help. You've got to go get your shooter, and I thought. Our three-point defense did pick up those last five or six minutes also, and we contested a little bit better. Uh, you know, turnovers. I mean, we turned the basketball over 12 times, I think, in, in, in 50 minutes. I mean, wow. That's – that's uh, you can win basketball games there. Uh, you, you, uh, you only gave up eight offensive rebounds. Uh, you know, uh, transition defense – uh, was not very good, and neither was our baseline defense. We gave up so many baseline drives, but overall, I'm really not that disappointed. I really, I'm really not because uh, I thought we was tested uh, and could have could have folded, uh, which in the past our teams have not had the toughness to win those games. And you know, when you're in the game, it doesn't matter who you're playing. If you're down six or seven with five or six minutes to go. I mean, you you got a tough battle, and, and our guys battled. They did. And so, uh, you know, overall, I think we can score points. And any time you can score points, uh, then I think it's on the coaches. It's the coaches' responsibility at that point to, to become a good defensive team, and I think we will. Coach, how close is this win? One-point game. In your opinion, from the sidelines, I guess. What, what do you mean? I don't know what you mean. Back and forth affair, how close did it feel like it could have just gone the other way? Oh, well, we easily could have lost. We easily could have lost that basketball game. I mean, Quinn hits two big shots, two threes. Uh, we made four free throws. Uh, but saying that, if we'd made free throws for the first 40 minutes, it, it was a 15-point ball game. But we didn't. So, yeah, I mean, no, no. I mean, give Mississippi College credit. I mean, no, we could have very easily and probably should have lost, I mean, to be quite honest with you. So, yeah, I mean, it was, it was very, very close. How much hope does it give you that they kind of they kept pushing no matter how much they got down and how yeah. much overtimes kept rolling back over? That's the part that I'm most happy about. And, you know, uh, these guys haven't had a lot of success. And, 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 and that's one of the things that, just to be quite honest with you, worries about our preseason schedule is we need to get confidence. We need to get confidence. And uh, – just winning this basketball game is going to give you a little bit of confidence because, you know, just as I said, easily could have lost. And then so we had to hit some big shots. Quentin hit two huge threes. Bilal hit two free throws. Quentin came back and hit two free throws. Uh, we made a couple of big defensive plays just to have an opportunity. Uh, so, uh, you know, I thought Tim Rowe was, was pretty good. And uh, unfortunately, I think his, he's probably shoulders pretty bad right now, so I don't know what that is. And, you know, Eddie had a hamstring. But you put you put a team out there tonight without a point guard that basically had never played out there except, uh, you know, Kevin. And, and, again, Kevin is not a point guard. So, you know, without Corey out there, without Eddie, I, I'm pretty pleased. I really am. You too soon to know the prognosis on Eddie? I just – T on Tim, well, Eddie, Eddie told me at halftime he's been fighting a hamstring, but it, it was his other leg. It was his other leg tonight, and, and 
he told me at halftime that he didn't think he could play. And so I wasn't going to, you know, in an exhibition game, I'm not going to test that. And then, uh, and then, and Tim, I just saw, I mean, he, he I don't know what happened, but, uh, you know, he's got his arm in a sling right now. So, uh, you know, the doctors haven't looked at it. So I don't know, I don't know to the point of what's wrong with him. But the good news is, uh, I really want to play Josh Conley because Josh is an athletic dude that gives us energy and all those type of things. But because of the game, I mean, I, I mean, I had to, I had to try to, I had to try to find a way to to win it. What do you think about the player Richardson, who was kind of, he's yeah. kind of a smaller guy, but I saw him kind of go heads up with a few people who were a lot taller. You know, sure. You about that? Well, I think what he brought us was defensive energy, and uh, you know. Uh, even and if you follow this, I mean, even Corey with his knee is not able to put the defensive pressure on that D'Angelo was able to do. So the good news is, if if we can get if we can get uh, Corey healthy, then I can move Kevin back over to his to his most comfortable position, and and now he's back on the wing and he can shoot the basketball, and so that's going to help us. So, uh, you know. Coming in tonight, I didn't know if D'Angelo was going to be able to help us, but I think he's going to be able to. Coach, why that rotation? Why did you say on that one? Well, I, I tried a bunch of them, but I, again, I started I, rotation. I'm sorry, excuse me. Well, because for the most part, uh, Bilal, Bilal, uh, instead of Eddie, because Eddie's been hurt and it's missed a lot of practice, so I went with Bilal in that situation, uh, and then uh, with Kevin. Uh, Quentin and Mike, they had more experience. Uh, so that's the reason we went with them. And and that's a better – here's what you got with Quentin, Mike, and Kevin, a much better offensive team. But defensively, you're much better with Tez. Uh, and, and another guy that's going to play because he can really shoot it is Rob. And so – but that's why. We talked to a couple of your players earlier, and they told us they were kind of – you know, surprised by the play of the bench and really, you know, excited about how well they played. Would you agree? Sure. The thing is, is we finally have got some depth and we can get better in practice. We've not been able to do that. And as you can tell, and then you've got Dominique and Tyree that's, you know, not dressed out that really takes it to another level in practice. So that's going to really help us also. The last possession of, of, of regulation where we're on, um, Cortez was able to come down the court and kind of get a kind of get a shot where you wanted. After. Well, there again, uh, we didn't execute. There's 3.4 seconds to go. Your three, and and what I told them, what I told them is we got the rebound, and that's something you can get better. Is just go with it, just go with it. With six seconds, just go with it, because you're an open court. Just go and you know you can get it down the court. I remember being being at Arkansas and and a kid named Keith Hillier against. Uh, five slam a jam and took it the length of the court in three seconds and shot a layup. Uh, and and he caught it on the run and he caught it about right on the other side of half court and shoot, he shot a layup and we won in triple overtime. Well, same thing. I mean, we could get the ball down the court in six seconds. And and, they, and, and like I told Tez with 3.4 seconds and he had it, he pulled up and shot it. He should have took another dribble and just went in there and shot, shot a layup. But we didn't execute right either because there's supposed to be a back screen in there. Okay? Is that everything? Hey, thank you all. Appreciate you. you.